Leading the list of potential race winners is defending chap Alan Grice, who cut the opposition to ribbons last year in the Chickadee Commodore. Grice was the first touring car driver to post a 100 miles an hour lap average at Mount Panorama. He's also enjoyed great success on the European circuit and earlier this year proved a dab hand in NASCAR land during the World 600. His co-driver is the talented Wynn Percy, one of England's best all-rounders and a consistent winner for the TWR Bastos Rovers in last year's European Championship. Ford's overseas invasion will be led today by baby-faced Brit Steve Soper. He last visited Bathurst three years ago as a member of the Mobile Rover team. The 35-year-old has been a cast member of Rudy Eggenberger's Ford Roadshow for two seasons, and he'll be ably backed today by Belgian journalist racer Pierre Dudonne, who would love nothing better than to create his own headlines. The second Texaco Cosworth has a touch of class about it. Herr Ludwig is a former Le Mans 24-hour winner, and partner Needswitz will surely blitz if Rudy's rockets dance off into the distance. For some time now, Talmalmo car cowboy George Fury has been proving Nissan know-how when it comes to winning the big ones. Farmer Fury reaped a harvest three weeks ago when he steered to victory in the Castrol 500 Enduro at Melbourne Sandown Raceway. He's also in the enviable position of having a superb backstop in 22-year-old Glenn Seaton. Gunho Glenn is well on the way to his best ever season, including a runner-up spot to Jim Richards in the Australian Touring Car Championship. When you talk of mountain magic, nobody does it better than Peter Brock. Eight Bathurst Blue Ribbons have been snared by Mobile's number one, six of which came in a seven-year period, and all for General Motors. Holden has not enjoyed great success on home soil this season, but Mount Panorama is a different ball game. Just wait and see. For this afternoon's 1,000k romp, Peter Perfect is joined by Tassie Tiger David Parsons. He was runner-up here in 1984. 30-year-old Roberto Revalia makes his third appearance at Bathurst this weekend. He came here first in 85 and shared the second place BMW with Johnny Chicotto. Last year he picked up the European Championship for Schnitzer, but his mountain expedition was a little less fortunate. A skirmish put him out of the 1000k race quite early. His team partner today is Italian Emmanuel Pirro, runner-up in the Intercontinental Formula 3000 Championship last year and third home in the Spa 24-hour endurance race. Meanwhile, local BMW hopes rest heavily on this man, Jimmy Richards, Australian champ in 85 and 87 and Bathurst victor in 78, 79 and 1980. He retains lead role in the JPS M3 and will be partnered by the exuberant Tony Longhurst, a no-nonsense charger who relishes door-to-door -door combat as distinct from processional parading. Bathurst 87 also marks the return by Alan Moffat to Ford. The little guy with the impeccable manners posted back-to-back -back victories here in 70 and 71. Victory number three came two years later and number four in 77 when the Moffat team stage managed that memorable 1-2 result. Sharing the wheel of the ANZ Banking Sierra today is triple British champ Andy Rouse. He, in fact, is credited with pioneering the Cosworth Sierra program. And what major Aussie touring car classic would be complete without Queensland's own Ford frontrunner, Dickie Johnson? His sole victory in the Hardy was the accident-shortened version of 1981. But this year, he's had the trick Cosworth to play with. And don't forget, he stamped his mark on several major events this year, although the trophy cabinet at home might still be a little bare. Just a selection of internationals and locals to watch in today's World Championship edition of Australia's Great Race.